Welcome to Hillary Topper On Air, the podcast you can't afford to miss. What makes a good salesperson? Is it their personality? Is it their follow-up skills? Or is it just knowing how to read their potential customers or clients? Perhaps it's a combination of all of the above. I'm Hillary Topper, and this is Hillary Topper On Air. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Tim Healy. Tim is the host of the business talk show podcast, The Profit Express, which is on WRHU-FM New York, and it's also online at WRHU.org. The show airs every Wednesday from 4.30 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. Welcome to the show, Tim. Well, Hillary, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. So tell me a little bit about yourself and your background. Well, um, sales has always been a part of who I am. Uh, It was something that my father told me, hey, listen, if you want to make a great living and uh, have job security, be a great salesperson. And that stuck with me. And then I ended up not just being a salesperson, but starting a business, Healy Success Solutions, to train salespeople on how to become better and more profitable. Um, it's just something I love doing. And uh, probably about 11 years ago, I also decided to start uh, a radio show, as you mentioned, The Profit Express, which focuses on, among a number of things, of course, small business and the journey we all take to uh, create success on a daily basis. So, why did you start the show to begin with, The Profit Express? You know, it's, it's funny because it, in, in my industry, you know, sales training and coaching, a lot of, the, you know, the competition out there, they've written books. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of people have told me, well, Tim, you got to write a book. Mm-hmm. And I, I just, not that I, I, I haven't yet, not that I won't, I, I know I will at one point, but it just seemed like such a daunting task. And you, you know, you're a great author. You, you just released your second book. Um, but I, I had the idea of radio. And to me, it was something I could do week in and week out. And I tried it out a number of years ago. And honestly, once I got behind the mic, to me, it was addicting. <laughs> and it gives me a, a, you know, it is, it yeah. is, it's powerful. You know, with your podcast, Absolutely. right? And it, the, the benefit, I mean, books are great for creating credibility, obviously, but the reason I like doing the show and the podcast is it allows me to stay front of mind with my audience week in and week out. And that, that to me was a big benefit. Now, you've been really, you're one of the pioneers here, especially on Long Island. So can you talk to us about the Profit Express, like how long it's been on the air and what are some of the notable guests, in mm-hmm, addition to mm-hmm. myself, of course? <laughs> well, I start with Hillary Topper, and then we go down from there. But, um, well, listen, it was kind of you to say pioneer. The, the show has been on for 11 years. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's hard to believe sometimes. And I actually have notes on every single one of my shows. And last night was show number 463. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, yeah, it, it is, you know. And so some of my guests, uh, besides Hillary Topper, um, and she was hard to get, you know, obviously of her stature, but <laughs> oh, well, um, sure. no, I've, 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 I've been fortunate. I've had one of my all-time favorites was George Foreman. Wow. Um, everybody knows him from, you know, heavyweight champion, mm-hmm. but I mean – as successful as he was in the ring, he was an amazing businessman. The, the George Foreman Grill, which just about everybody has one, he sold 135 million Foreman Grills. Can you imagine wow. that? Incredible. And then and Barbara Cochran, she's another great wow. one. Shark uh-huh. Tank. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's um, – and, and that's part of the benefit. You know, I mean, Liz, and uh, um Steve Case, the, the, one of the founders of AOL, who revolutionized, you know, the internet. Mm-hmm. I was able to have him on. Incredible. So I, the show has afforded me the ability to have access to people, to great people I normally never would have. And that helps me become, you know, a better consultant and coach, you know, getting exposure to all these ideas. 
Absolutely. So you talked a little bit about how you prepare for each of the interviews and you said last night was show 463. Can you talk about mm -hmm. how you do prepare for these interviews? You know, how much research do you put into it? Well, the show's a weekly, so, you know, meaning it's on once a week. And, you know, if somebody has a daily show, it's a little, little more difficult, but I'm able to, in, in the format of my show, the guests will get between 30 and 60 minutes for an interview. So I can, I can do a, a deep dive. Mm. And to the best of my ability, you know, I have a number of authors on, I, I read the books. I really read the books. And I'm not just going to ask the typical questions that they get asked at every other interview. I'm going to find something in the book that interests me that I know will interest my audience. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to talk to them about that. And, and what I also do, if they, if they're not an author, uh, a lot of my guests have been interviewed, you know, in, in other media outlets. So there's interviews out there. There's mm -hmm. video. I love watching video of somebody before an interview because it kind of gives me a sense of their style mm -hmm. and who they are mm -hmm. and their energy. And, and it, 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 you know, I can find out more information I might not have found out, you know, from a website. So tell me what's one of the keys to having a great interview? You know, it's, it's funny. Um, you can, just because somebody's written a best-selling book, okay, it doesn't mean they're going to be a best talking guest on a radio show. <laughs> and, you know, really, you, you don't it's know. It's true. Um, so, so to have a great interview, there's three things that I, that I've learned. It took me a while to learn it. Um, when, and it seems really basic, but when I confirm a guest, right, via email usually, you know, I confirm mm -hmm. the date and the time, I let them know, hey, I'm looking forward to this interview. I'm excited. We're going to talk about your book. We're going to talk about ABC. We're going to talk about your new product, whatever it is. And I want to start them feeling my energy, even in an email. Then when they call into the show, and I usually put them on hold for a few minutes before we go live, I pick up the phone. And then my energy is, you know, now I'm peaking, okay? My enthusiasm <laughs> just before we go live. Uh -huh. it, and I say, Bob, thanks so much for calling on. I can't wait to get you on and share this story. My, 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 my listeners can't wait to hear you. And then you can hear, they're like, oh, well, thanks, Tim. You know, and then their, <laughs> they, their energy picks up, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's number two. Yeah, that's and important. And then number three... Yeah, it is. It really is. Because listen, sometimes, you know, I could have, a, I might be the third interview of a day and they're uh -huh. tired. Uh -huh. I got to get them. I got to get them jacked up. Mm -hmm. So then the third thing I do is I craft and I take time to do this. I craft an intro. It might be maybe two minutes where I get the audience excited about the topic mm -hmm. and just as excited about the guest. I'm having on to tackle that topic and they're hearing this and I've had people, Barbara Carkin was one of them, Hillary. And she said, and you can hear it on the podcast. I have a copy of my podcast. I did this great intro. Cause I loved it. I was, I was so thrilled to have her on the show. Oh, yeah. And I went through this, Oh, I, I went through this intro and then she's like, wow. She's like, listening to you, you really think I am somebody. <laughs> That's so funny. So that's, yeah. that's, you know, doing everything I can to get them excited to want to be on the show and share their story with my listeners. All right. Before we move on, I yeah. just have to give a shout out to our sponsors. I am so sure. appreciative of all of them. And I want you guys to please support them and tell them that you heard about them on Hillary Topper on air. Special thanks to the Russo Law Group, Strain Print, Fortune Off Fine Jewelry, and last but not least, the Profit Express. Thank you, Tim. So back to My you, pleasure. Tim. So we're talking about your business talk show, The Profit Express. And in addition to hosting this 
the Profit Express. You also ho you also own Healy Success Solutions, where you coach sales teams and help them turn more profits prospects into profits. How can the ability to interview a guest help you become a better salesperson? Uh, that's 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 a great question. Um, so much of what I talk about, you know, on the business side with Healy Success Solutions and sales, is about communication. To be great in sales, you've got to be a great communicator. And to me, that's about being genuinely curious about, just like you're curious with a guest on the show and you want to learn about them and you want to share their story with the listeners and you walk into a sales call as a sales professional, you really need to remind yourself, Hey, I'm here to help. I have to have a conversation with this prospect with the client so I can understand their world. Cause if I understand their world, then I can position a solution that's right for them. I can connect with them. And the bottom line is you connect with communication. Mm -hmm. Be prepared. Ask just, just like I prepare for, with, with great questions for interviews. You're a salesperson. Take some time. Visit their website. Ask them some interesting questions. Because let's face it, everybody's favorite topic is themselves. <laughs> right? It's true. It's yeah. true. Yeah, right? We know it. And if you get a prospect talking about themselves and their business and their role in the company, the conversation will flow. And then here's another key. So if you're curious about how you can help them, make sure that when they're talking and they're answering your questions, you give them the courtesy of listening. And if I don't listen as a radio host, to bring you back to radio for a second, and my, my guest is talking, if I'm, I get distracted, then my next follow-up question doesn't make sense based on what they just said. The audience is like, what? So you got to be in the moment during that conversation, whether it's with a sales, whether it's with a, a prospect or it's with, you know, live with a guest. So in your world, which mm -hmm. media personality do you like when it comes to their interview style and why? I mean, there, there, there's a ton, but mm. probably, I mean, there's so many you can talk about. One of them that really has piqued my, my interest, my curiosity, uh, is Joe Rogan. Mm -hmm. And for those, those who don't know, you know, he started as the host of Fear Factor back in the days. He's uh, a commentator with uh, UFC, and he has a podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. And he's, he's really become a, a powerful media influencer. His, his YouTube channel's got over 7 million subscribers. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got some horsepower out there, right? Mm -hmm. And what's so interesting, like, you know, m my show focuses on small business, but what Joe does a great job, and I really admire, and I try to learn from him, I really do, is he will talk to anybody on just about any topic if it's interesting to him. So he talks to, he had Bernie Sanders on a show. Wow. He talks to politicians. Uh -huh. He talks to MMA fighters. He talks to comedians. Uh, he's had Elon Musk on his show. So it runs the gamut. Wow. And what he does a great job of is just having a conversation because he, he also is very good, very good questions, being curious, letting the uh, conversation flow and because he's not an expert on all these topics obviously but he just asks questions that the audience would ask and it's not at all uncommon his typical uh episode gets over a million downloads mm -hmm. amazing that's awesome he, it really is it really is so let's talk a little bit about communication. I'm going to go back to that because she said, you know, you yeah. really need to be a good communicator to be a salesperson. So say Absolutely. you have a prospect that doesn't communicate mm -hmm. or maybe they communicate in the beginning and you have this incredible bonds with them. And then all of a sudden you send them a proposal and they go MIA. What do you, <laughs> <laughs> and you can't, and you can't get them back on the phone. What do you, 
what do you think of that? I mean, is that a red flag or is that time to move on? Or wh what would you say to one of your prospects if that happened? Well, uh, now you're going to get me excited. We're talking about sending proposals and prospects going MIA. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go, Hillary. I know that's another Listen. show. <laughs> oh my God. This is, this is what I would say. If you have a meeting with a prospect and you feel you're bonding and it's great and then you send a proposal and they go MIA, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I tell a client, okay? I never send proposals via email. That's me. Because mm -hmm. the moment you send one, you lose control. Mm -hmm. So even if they're across the country, set it up on Zoom, okay? Do a video conference. Don't, still don't send it in advance, present it at the moment. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, then we can, I mean, we can talk about qualifying. How qualified were they? You know, if you're gonna, and here's another great tip for the salespeople in the audience listening, you know, if you give a prospect anything, okay, whether it's research, an article, or a proposal, what are you going to get in return? And it's not to sound selfish, but it's the if then of the relationship. You know, are, are they qualified enough? Do they deserve a proposal from me? Because you know what? Proposals take time. It takes mm -hmm. money. You put a lot of effort into it. So if I give you this proposal, you know, Mr. or Ms. Prospect, what's going to happen next? What's your decision making process? What's your timeline? Salespeople are too, they rely on, oh, we had a great conversation. Yes. They love me. They're all excited. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. And then they hit send and boom. Never hear back. <laughs> right. Exactly. Shame on the salesperson. I have another question before we wrap this up. So during the Profit sure. Express, I'm going to bring it back now to your radio podcast. Did you sure. ever have an aha moment when somebody was telling you a story or it, you were interviewing one of your guests? I, well, that's a, that, that's a great question. The, it, it goes back to, I mean, fortunately, over the years, I've had a lot of great shows. I've had some duds in there. Uh, I've, had a, <laughs> I've had some great shows. But here was one that really affected me. And again, I mentioned George Foreman, and this goes back a number of years. And he was, he was just so genuinely just a great mm -hmm. guy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's George Foreman. I mean, he's, he's an icon. And as I'm wrapping up the show with George Foreman, I said, George, if you could leave the listeners with one idea or one thought as they head off on their journey to success, what would it be, George? And I'm going to paraphrase it, but he says, forgiveness. And I sat there and he goes, you're like, forgiveness is that is the thread that binds us. He's like, cause you're going to get doors shut and closing your face and people are going to tell you to get out, but you have to go on to the next door and the next door and, and just mm -hmm. keep forgiving. Cause you're going to need that. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing George Foreman tell me forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I was speechless. Wow. I said, George, I didn't expect that. And he laughed and chuckled. So that was one. I'm like, wow, that was, to this day, it was just an amazing response from George Foreman. I absolutely love that. That's awesome. So, yeah. Tim, tell yeah. us how someone out there can either apply to be a guest on the Profit Express or listen to the show or learn more about Healy Success Solutions. Well, thank you. I mean, listen, if, you, if you'd love to be a guest on the show, uh, my Twitter handle, you can reach out at Radio Tim Healy. Uh, I'm always on it. Uh, HealySolutions.com. You can connect with me there. There's the podcast link where you can hear shows. Uh, so again, it's Radio Tim Healy or at HealySolutions.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Tim, for being on the show. I really, thank it's a great show me. as always. And I also <laughs> want to, of course, thank my sponsors, The Profit Express, Russo Law Group, Strain Print, and Fortune Off Fine Jewelry. I really appreciate their support. And last but not least, I want to thank you all listeners for tuning in each week. If you want more information on this show or any other show, visit our website at hillarytopperonair.com 
or you can find us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, MixCloud, and now even Amazon Alexa. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time.